As the senators stood up for their own in the ongoing recall process instituted on Senator Dino Melaye by some of his constituents, the Kogi lawmaker says it's a witch hand by the state governor, Bro Ainek, have commenced work on the recall. They will give us details on the program. We also look into the divided voices from the ministers today over the executive legislature row, as it looks now like uh, they may be settling for a political solution after a very strong statement from the National Assembly. Many thanks for joining in, everyone. This is Politics Today Live on Channels Television. I'm Sean Joaquin Baloye in Lagos. Well, it's 60 days now since President Mohamed Buhari left for London on a medical vacation. 59 days on, we wish him quick recovery and sound health as we expect him back in the country soonest. But let's begin tonight's uh, show by serving you some other political stories we may not be discussing tonight on the program. Yesterday, it was the turn of the Minister of Power, Works and Housing, Mr. Babatunde Fashala, to appear before the House of Representatives. But today, former President Goodluck Jonathan gets a summon from the lawmakers. The legislators have invited the former president to testify in the ongoing investigations into the Malibu oil deal. The committee says it had conducted extensive investigation into the OPL 245S and would want to hear from the former president in the interest of thoroughness, natural justice and fair play. The committee says it took account of the fact that Dr. Goodluck Jonathan was the president at the time the ministers brokered the deal to the alleged diversion of $1 billion. It says the former president's name also featured in the proceedings initiated by the public prosecutor of Milan in Italy. The tribunal a few days ago nullified the election and declared the APC candidate Andrew Chendu as winner of the December 10 legislative rerun election for Rivers East Senatorial District. The PDP has however described the judgment as a travesty of justice capable of destroying the image of the judiciary and the nation's democracy, while the APC says the judgment is unbiased. We queried the double standard adopted by the three-man panel of the tribunal headed by Justice Gode Animu, who relied fully on results tendered by INEC to dismiss all other petitions brought before it to castigate original INEC results as unreliable in preference for photocopy of results from the Nigerian police. Since INEC was unable to produce the result of this, uh, the Ikure local government, and the petitioner has it, and the one that the petitioner has was the same the police has. That's from where they are now saying that police tender the report. 